Once you have a chart created, you can edit some of the various elements of that chart. Every chart has a set of chart elements, which are the chart area, which is basically the entire area of the chart, the plot area, which is the area where your data series or your range of cells has been plotted. You have your data series, which of course makes up the various information, but these would be reflecting the data series. As well as your axes, you have an x-axis as well as a y-axis, or these also can be referred to as your horizontal axes and your vertical axes. You have your title for your chart, as well as your data labels and your legend. All of these elements make up a chart, and they are also editable. Notice that with my legend selected, I have handles around the legend. I can increase the size of my legend by clicking and dragging any one of those handles, and I can also move the legend by positioning my cursor right on the border or the edge around the legend, click and drag, and move it to a new location. I can do the same for my title. I can select my title, and then move it by grabbing the edge to another location. I can also edit the font and the font styles that are used for all of the various elements that have text. So I can change what font is used here in my title by selecting it first and then coming over here to my home tab in my font group and applying any of these font features. So I can go ahead and change this from this font to let's say maybe an Arial Narrow and I also want to increase the font size and I can italicize it. I can do the same down here for my data labels by selecting them and then choosing a new font. We'll keep things consistent and go with Arial and let's say I want this to be a little bit smaller in size so it fits better. You can change any of the various fonts that are used in your chart by just selecting that element and then going to your home tab and using your font group to change them. You can also use your alignment group to change whether they're left, centered, or right justified. For our project, let's change the chart title since we have changed the worksheet data that this chart was based upon. We are going to open up our sales monthly worksheet and if you like, you can open up a file that reflects the development of the course up to this point by going to your Excel 2007 directory in the Chapter 10 folder and opening up the 1007 start file. This opens our sales monthly worksheet that we have been working on throughout this chapter. The first thing that we are going to do is we're going to change the name of the worksheet for our chart, which is generically named Chart 1 or Chart 2, to a name that makes more sense. So select that worksheet and double click it so that you select the text and let's call this our cost versus price worksheet. And actually let's add chart at the end so that we know that that's a chart. So cost versus price chart. Then click away to set that name and then click on your vertical axis data labels and go to your home tab, change the font to a different font as well as a different font size. Make sure that everything fits nicely within the area that you have for these data labels and then go ahead and do the same for the horizontal data labels as well as a legend. Making your font stand out so that you can really tell and read what the labels and the legend are indicating for our data. When you have done this, save your file and let's move on to the next movie.